So we are back and the bonus question is, there's a lot of uncertainty, Dave, and the pandemic is not helping. And the world is like on an edge of a, I don't want to say the word, like we are in war and we don't want to live in these uncertain times, but we are and our mental health is affecting, our relationships are affecting. How can people navigate during these uncertainty times? I love this question and I want it as a bonus question because I have faced that. I don't know. I've been at home. I don't know for sure where I'm going to work. I don't know sure what work I'm going to be doing. I feel sometimes like I'm in a boat fishing with about six fishing lines out and I don't know which fish is going to bite on which line. I don't know, Meher, if you've ever experienced some of that uncertainty. Where am I going to work? How am I going to work? I can get locked into that and I can obsess about how do I harness it? How do I overcome it? Let me tell you what I learned recently. Mm -hmm. In the world of uncertainty, focus on certainty. Let me tell a story, then I'm going to ask you a personal question, Mayor. Yeah. I was doing a session on this, and a man I was working with, who's a brilliant, brilliant man, has two sons who are in their 20s. And I said to him, do you know where your sons are going to work? No. Do you know what job they're going to get? No. Do you know who they're in a relationship with? No. Do you know where they're going to live? No. You live in uncertainty. Yeah. And he said, yeah, it's really tough. And I said, stop. By the way, I'm going to get emotional here. What do you know about your sons? Are you going to love them? And he stopped for about a half a second and he said, yeah. Yeah. I don't care where they live, where they work, how they work. I will love them. Yeah. And I said, focus on that. Meher, I don't know what your next job is going to be. I've gotten to follow you from one coast to the other. Now we're going to have to go north to south. You're going to end up in Nunavut uh in Calumet, and then you're gonna end up in Mexico maybe I don't know you know what what do you know about yourself what do you know about yourself let me tell you what I see in you as you reflect you are warm you're charming you care about people you want others to succeed you want to learn you will bring your best efforts to work yeah you know what you know that I hope I got it. That's my observation yeah, of you. And you make me emotional because, uh, yeah, I am resilient in terms of the uncertainty and believe in myself that I can do it with the help and support of everyone around me because we also need people around us to support us and help us navigate this uncertainty. If there are times that I am, I'm down, I, I can speak with anyone, like I can, I can share and be emotional, and that helps me to navigate the day. You know, you just added one that you know that I didn't think. I know that I, Meher, will have a network of friends. By the way, for me, what I know at a business level is something else at a personal level. I have friends. Yeah. I have a family. And I know you and your partner, are fr your family, you, you're yeah. there. That's not just an abstract friend. Yeah. For me, it's also my faith. Yes. I, have a, I have a deep and abiding faith in a divine being. I'm not imposing that on anyone else. I, I know that, that those things will endure no matter what. And I feel that if you have those two, you're the richest person in the world. That's all you need. Treasure up the treasures in heaven. Now, why do I say that? There may be people listening to this call who are being harangued by the uncertainty. And my answer is, you're right. It's going to continue. So don't go there. Go back to what I know. What do I know for certainty? That's my bonus question, Meher. And I use reach that for myself. Friend. And reach out to a friend if you are having difficult times. Reach out, reach out. Meher, reach out to me. Yeah. Oh, you know I'm here. Yeah. Thank you. And with that, the interview comes to an end, an emotional end, which is good. I enjoyed the conversation as always, Dave. And I hope the audience enjoyed and implement some of the tips that we spoke. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And Dave, again, thank you. And I hope to see you soon in person. Agreed. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.